The Traveling Travel Agency Perils in Paradise mini set is coming out on Tuesday. You might already see it now, depending on when you're watching this video. Um, all the cards have been released. I'd like to talk about them with, you know, the budget perspective in mind. You know, if you are a new player that does not have a lot of cash, should this be something to add to your collection? And I believe everybody would agree, um, the content creators and those playing the game, that the mini sets are absolutely an amazing value. Um, for 2,000 gold, you should be saving your gold as soon as you have a couple of viable decks after every expansion, specifically for the mini set. Let's go over some of the cards. Um, like I said, they've all been released. Let's talk about Death Knight. First of all, with Death Knight, um, Death Knight's a little bit of um, some trouble right now. They don't have a lot of uh, decks that are like super viable, competitive, will get you, you know, above bronze through gold. And these cards for Death Knight, I don't see it yet. I don't see the synergy in the decks that are in there right now, current. Maybe I'm wrong. Four mana, Eternal Layover. And don't forget, uh, Warlock can play this as well. Give all minions reborn, then destroy all minions. This is an unholy uh, rune. And I think that we might see something with this. Um, the fact is, you know, give all minions reborn, then destroy all minions. There's some hand buff stuff. There's some plague stuff. There might be some possibility with this one. Um, out of the cards for uh, Death Knight, I would say this one has some potential. Um, also, probably the same thing with uh, Warlock as well. This one, six mana travel security, taunt, death rattle, summon, and random eight cost minion. Maybe. Um, don't see it. Don't see it 100% working with this one. Give all minions reborn and then destroy all minions. I just don't see it yet. Ten mana um, to hold on to try to hit that combo off. I just don't see this one um we'll see and i don't really see this in uh in warlock as well next up two mana soul searching discover a card from your deck spend five corpses to copy it this has something here um this is a double unholy rune so i don't see how much it's gonna jump um for us we'll see um death knight needs something i don't know if this is it um of course it's going to be interesting to see what happens in a couple of days. Um, next up, let's go into the uh, Demon Hunter. And Demon Hunter has Pirate Demon Hunter, and that's about it. And I don't see any of these cards being something that we would add to uh, Pirate Demon Hunter. So uh, two mana Demonic Deal. This is also a Shaman. Um, shaman can use it with a Taurus mechanic. Lifesteal. Deal four damage to a minion. Put a random demon that costs five or more on the top of your deck. Do I see this going in Pirate Demon Hunter? No. Do I see this being played around with a Shaman? Possibly. Only because look at the demons you can get. So Magtheridon is amazing. Uh, Mythical Terror is pretty awesome as well. Window Shopper, maybe. Um, Illidari Inquisitor is awesome. Uh, Abyssal Basis is pretty good. So there's a lot of good options here. Um, do I think this is something that they're just going to put directly in because of it? I don't know. Um, I do think this will see play, though, especially because it has the, the lifesteal type of thing. Um, top of your deck, you're going to get it immediately. Next up, six mana, six, six, Demon Spirit Peddler. Rush, death rattle, reduce the cost of a random minion in your hand by six. There is a big Demon Hunter. There is a shopper Demon Hunter. I just, you know, random makes random things do random things. Six mana, six, six with Rush would kill something that your opponent is uh, messing around with. We'll see. Um, I don't see the archetype um, synergy with uh, these cards so far. Um, we'll see what happens. But this one also, you can add it to Shaman Dex with the Tourist. Um, also, 3 mana, 3-3 three, three Infernal Stapler. This is a weapon, and I don't get it. After your hero attacks, deal 3 damage to your hero. I, I don't get it. Um, there's got to be something here I'm missing. I just don't see the benefit to this. I think there is some sort of uh, pain synergy where you're doing damage to yourself on Demon Hunter. I don't know. We, we need to wait and see on this one. Um, next up, four mana. This is for Druid. Uh, four mana, Ungoro Brochure. This brochure will flip each turn. So this one is uh, draw two minions, give them plus two, plus two. Absolutely will be used. And then this one is the Dalaran Brochure. 
So it switches between the two every turn. And this one's draw two spells. They cost one less. Uh, Druid always gets the broken stuff. This card, we will see play. Absolutely, we will see play. Um, there's just so many things you could do with this. You could put this in the Taunt Druid. You could put this in the Dragon Druid. You could put this in the Treant Druid. I think this is going to see something. Um, next up, four mana, two, one, Number Cruncher. I love the artwork here. I'm a big fan of the artwork here. Um, I, I think this card's a little broken as well. Yeah, the art is just amazing. Uh, uh, beautiful. Uh, rush, Taunt. Choose Thrice. Gain plus two attack or plus two health. Broken. You know, for four mana, this is something that's just going to, you know, keep things um, keep things entangled for your opponent. This one's a very good card, in my opinion. And then you can pick what you want it to be, whether it's, you know, plus six attack, plus six health, some sort of variation of that. I like this one. Uh, next up, here's another one I think is crazy. Handle with bear. Get two, three, three bears with taunt. Each turn they are in your hand, they gain plus one, plus one. So there's the bear. Careful bear. At the start of your turn, if this is in your hand, gain plus one, plus one. This can also go with warriors, um, with the tortoise synergy. I think that this is strong as well. Druid's got some good cards. Now listen, Druid's not busted right now. I think they're number three or number four in total uh, win rates on HS Replay. But I, I think these are good cards for Druid and for warrior as well. Warrior needs something. Uh, let's go to hunter. And, you know, people have been saying that hunter this is not it for hunter right now so four mana monkey business add eight bananas to your hand we know what bananas do um any that can't fit are randomly fed into friendly minions in play this can be played with the, the priest or the shaman with their tourist mechanic the artwork is just awesome as always you will probably see this on one of my thumbnails as we go through the motions probably pretty close to being immediate um, I like the card. I know that I saw people on um, on social media saying that they didn't think that this card was any good. I like it. I, me personally, I would play this on several decks just because of the art and potentially how good this could be. We'll see. Uh, cash cow, five mana, three seven beast taunt. Whenever this takes damage, get a coin. Cool art. This is also priest and shaman with the tourist mechanic. Um, yeah, I don't ever think that I've ever seen um, either one of these classes have a problem with uh, needing coins, needing uh, mana. So we'll see if this curves through. I just, I don't see how this fits with Hunter. Okay. Uh, next up, three mana, four, two, Beast, Workhorse. And then it's Death Rattle, Summon, two, two, one, Ponies. Pony is here, Work Pony. They're cute art. Um, will I think this, will I think... Well, I think this will see play. Yes, I think it will. Um, do I think Hunter needs this? No. I, I could be wrong on that. Um, I just, I don't see it. And Priest, I don't see Priest using it. I don't see Shaman using it. Um, yeah, this is a little weird. Uh, five mana, four, five. Portal Mance of Skylaw. Uh, Rogue Taurus to Battle Cry is swap the costs of the lowest and highest cost spells in your hand. Okay, I don't know why you would want to do that unless there's specific purposes. First of all, let's look at the signature card. Signature card looks really, really cool. Um, the art on this card looks a little weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, but yeah, the artwork on the signature is amazing. Um, maybe I see this with Rogue a little bit. I don't know. With some Rogue, I, I don't see this one as well. Um, Mage doesn't need this. Next up, three mana burn down. Draw three cards and light them on fire. In three turns, any still in hand are destroyed. I, I don't get it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It it's different. It's interesting. But, you know, maybe, maybe I'm just a simpleton. and I don't want to put together anything that's going to destroy my cards. It's annoying to me when, you know, Warlock does the thing where, you know, they burn your cards and you have two turns to play it. Why would I want to put myself on a timer for this for three card draw? I don't know. By the three turns, you've got the three cards that have been in your hand that are about to die because it just doesn't make any sense. The art is really good, though. Look at that. Love the art. Uh, seven mana huddle up. Fill your board with random naga. I like this. I like this. I, I don't know if we would use this or whatnot. Here's the stats for this. Um... Yeah. Take a look at this. I will obviously leave a link in the description. Um... 
for seven for seven mana fill your board with random naga i like this uh i'm definitely gonna try it i think you know if you're a mage player you should definitely try this as well um it's a big spell and there's you can also play this uh with druid who wants to do that druid just got all the busted stuff uh, Paladin, four mana Trustfall. Discover two minions that cost five or less. Uh, they gain each other's attack and health. Yes, I'm okay with this. Um, it's in Mage as well for the tourist mechanic. I am okay with this. I like it. I want to play this. Um, even though it says five for less, yeah, there might be some crazy stuff, but if they're gaining each other's attack and health, you can make some big minions on that. Uh, do I think we would throw this in like hand buff or what have you? No. I don't think so. Um, I'm sure it will be tested, but there's not a lot of uh, things that, that that deck needs. That deck really doesn't need anything right now. Uh, four mana vacation planning. Also, Mage Taurus mechanic. Restore four health. Summon three silver hand recruits. Draw two cards. This one's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I would almost rather use this in Mage than use the other one that burns the three cards. It draws two cards. You don't burn them. You get all that other stuff. I don't know. I, I think we'll see play on this one. Uh, another one. Two mana busy bot. Battle cry. Give your one attack minions plus one plus one. Um, it's on board. So there's some cool synergy if you had a bunch of silver hands on board. Um, there's things that you can do with this. I like it. It's mech. Um, there's not a lot of mech synergy right now. Or, you know, there's not a mech paladin archetype. There's no need to. Again, like I said, you're playing flood or you're playing, um, you know, hand buff pally. But I think we'll see some sort of combination with this one. Priest! What did Priest get? Two mana, four, four, Envoy of Prosperity. Battle Cry. Put the highest cost card in your hand on top of your deck. Okay. And that's also a Demon Hunter. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. Some of these, I'm like, listen, maybe there's something down the road or what have you. But some of these, it's just going to be really weird. They don't fit in anything that's being played now. Maybe that's a good thing. You know, maybe that's a great thing. Um, this gives you some more options for all of the classes. Uh, here's another one. Two mana. There's another one of the brochures. Silver Moon Brochure. Give a minion immune this turn and plus two, plus two. Silence a minion and give it minus two, minus two. This will be played. Absolutely. Uh, Demon Hunter and Priest. Yeah, this will see a lot of play. Especially this one. This one's always going to be a pain in your butt. Um, Priest likes to silence things. Three mana Job Shadower. 4-3 Undead, Battlecry, if your hero took damage this turn, summon a copy of this. That's not bad. Um, that's not bad at all. Look at that. That art is awesome. Yeah, they're doing great with this art. 100%. Next up, 4 mana Agency Espionage. This is Rogue. Shuffle a card from each other class into your deck. They cost one. Why? Why? The I mean, listen, Rogue needs it. Rogue needs all the help they can get right now. Um, is Rogue going to be busted, broken, and absolutely crazy? And this is awesome. Shuffle a card from each other class into your deck. They cost one. You know, the cool thing is it's also Paladin and uh, Mage Tourist. We're going to play this deck. I mean, we're going to play this card 100%. Um, here's one. Three mana, three, two, Robocaller. Battle cry, draw an 888 cost card, numbers dialed randomly each turn. So supposedly, um, yeah, each turn, this is in your hand, I believe. Um, it'll go through to where it's 888 will be just different numbers. Um, so yeah, that should see some play. Um, I just, my, my thing is here is, is what happens if it's running something and you don't have that uh costs in your hand or in your deck or what have you this one's weird i have to see it i i have to see this one being played uh four mana sharp shipment give your weapon plus two plus two we know all the weapons yeah okay um i think i'm more interested in this in, in paladin maybe mage too Let's see what happens here uh here is shaman and this one looks cool uh, we just talked about in my budget deck video an elemental shaman and i think this one will be cool give plus one plus one to all battle other battle cry minions in your hand deck and battlefield um this is all the hunter tourist as well this will see some play look at the cosmetic too cosmetic is cool 
I'm a fan of this one, and I think we will see play with this one. I'm 100%. Um, two mana Ice Crown brochure. Here's another brochure. Uh, Shaman, as well as Death Knight. Deal three damage to a minion and freeze its neighbors. That one's not too bad. The Black Rock brochure is deal th three damage to a minion and one to its neighbors. I'm, yeah, I'm liking this card as well. This card will see play as well. It's a little bit of a small board clear, maybe. Um, this one, two mana totem. I love totems. Hydration totem. At the end of your turn, give adjacent minions plus one plus one. Yeah, I mean, I like this totem from some of the other totems that we have. And the art is amazing. Let's look at the art. Look at that. At the water cooler. That one's pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited to, to see this one. I'm sure it'll be used. Uh, four mana. Here's Warlock. Four mana, fine print. Deal four damage to all minions. Excess damage hits your hero. Ow. This could kill you in one turn. Um, gotta be careful with that. Deal four damage to all minions. Excess damage hits your hero. This one's gonna be crazy on the pain side. Um, see what happens here. Do I think we'll see some busted crazy stuff with this one? Yeah, absolutely. Next up, Deadline. Tradable, temporary, destroy a minion. So this is two mana shadow spell. Rogue can use this as well. Um, the tradable part is this. So it's tradable. You can, you know, move it through. It's temporary, meaning that if you don't trade it or use it, it's gone. So you draw it, you have to trade it or use it. One of those two, or it's just going to disappear and you do not have it again. It's not going to stay in your hand. Remember that. But it's destroy a minion. Two mana destroy a minion. That's really cool. Um, the thing is, is it's, it's tough because it's just going to be based on 100%. You know, you get in that possible uh, variation of drawing it right then and there. Um, I don't know how much this will be played. I, I don't, I don't, I don't see an upside to this. What if you don't get it when you need it? So we'll see. Next up, two mana, three two. Employee of the month, battle cry giver, friendly minion, life steal. Yeah, I kind of like this one. Do I know if it'll be used? I don't know, but I like this. Um, and the art is also awesome, and the art has to mean something there. Look at that. That's really cool. Yeah, we'll see this play. Uh, next up, three mana punch card. Hero plus three attack and also damages adjacent minions this turn. Yes, I like this. This will be used. This is Warrior. Um, you can probably use some busted stuff with this. Will this bring Warrior out of the dumpster? I don't think so, but I like it. Anything that just also damages adjacent minions this turn, love it. Uh, three mana reserve spot. Get a random minion in your hand, plus four, plus four. If it's the only one there, reduce its cost by two. Love this as well. Do I think it's going to help Hunter? Uh, I mean, uh, Warrior? Actually, maybe. This one might might do some, some good here. Um, I love the art for this one. And everybody thinks I'm crazy because they don't think it's that great of a card. But four mana, two, six mech. Taunt. Whenever this takes damage, gain armor. I don't see why this wouldn't be awesome. You know, there, there's that um, taunt warrior that you can pick from the um, the, the pre-made decks as you're building. I mean, I would throw this in one of that. Absolutely, I would do that. All right, uh, let's go into the neutrals. This one here, uh, nine mana travel master Dungar, Balagrai. Some of three minions from your deck that are from different expansions. So the order of the minions pulled out from the deck is random doesn't care about release date of the expansions and this card is looking um at the different watermarks for the expansion so um so it says here you can pull out two sludge belters if one was from caverns in time and second was from naxxaramas um there's going to be some broken stuff with this 100 percent. i see this doing some nutty stuff but this is summon three minions from your deck so you have to make sure that this is in your deck this is nine mana i don't see where this one is going 100 percent, but i'm sure there'll be some nutty stuff we'll see this one i'm the most excited about this card i think well this one's the second most excited i am three mana dream planner zephyrus a battle cry to use a travel tour to get two potentially perfect cards from it okay so here we're gonna go look at the artwork first of all Artwork is amazing for all of these. 
artwork is just amazing. So each tour discovered option has three fixed pools and the tour you pick, the tour you pick will give you two cards from that pool at random. It does not read the board state, does not read the hand, deck, HP like the old Zephyrus, okay? Only these three discover options are available. There are no other tours. So here are the options. So extravagant tour, get two random cards that can potentially spend a lot of mana. Get two random cards that potentially deal damage to the enemy hero. And then get two random cards that could potentially impact the enemy's battlefield. Um, yeah, so this is not going to sit there like the old Zephyrus was, like it says. Um, it's not gonna, you know, go through and see what the perfect card for you is. Um, this is two potentially perfect cards from it. It's going to be combo. I think anybody who gets this card will be messing around with this. Uh, there's some potential here. Just for the simple fact is, is this could win some games. Two random cards that could potentially spend a lot of mana. You know, this one right here deal damage to the enemy hero. This might be it. Um, this will be played. Is it exactly like Zephyrus used to be? No, but that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Uh, next up, this is the one I'm most excited about. Um, Cube Warlock is one of my favorite decks. And here's Carnivorous Cubicle. Uh, Battle Fry. Destroy a friendly minion, summon a copy of it at the end of your turns. That's interesting. So, at the end of your turns, that's supposed to be turns? It's supposed to be just one turn? End of your turn? Should be interesting with this one. Listen, there's gonna be some broken stuff with this, however this works. But this, I mean, this doesn't mean that it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna be played every turn after you play this, right? No, of course not. It shouldn't be anything more than at the end of your turn. I don't know. Um. I'm excited to see what happens with this one. But again, um, you know, Cube Warlock was awesome. And I think this one will be awesome as well. Stay tuned. Um, I will be looking closely at this card. And the artwork is also just awesome as well. Look, the tie stuck in his mouth. Yeah, this one's cool. Wouldn't want to be working there. Uh, next up, three mana clumsy steward after any card is drawn, make it temporary. Um, yeah, this one, I'm not a fan of this at all. Don't like it. I don't think anything else other than I do not like this card. Um, ew, gross. Yeah, get away from me. Um, and then last up, the Busy Peon, Death Rattle. Your next location costs two less. I like this one as well. I like the artwork. Um, I mean, listen, we're using locations like crazy. Every card that we have, I mean, every deck that we have has at least one, all the good ones at least. Um, so there's potential for this one, especially when, you know, the it's just a two mana, two, three. That's even good if it didn't really have too much on it um, in terms of, you know, uh, card text. So that's pretty cool. And I think that's it. I think that's all of the cards. That is it for this um, mini set final thoughts is it's always a good thing to buy the mini set with gold um only like i said because um it gives you a lot more options especially if you're a budget player um if some of these don't work the the, the upside is if some of these don't work you can craft them for stuff that you need if some of these are absolutely broken you have some fun time doing that and then when they go ahead and they do a balance patch and you know you get full dust value for each one of those cards so it's just a hundred percent up upside across the board i would never um not get a mini set i don't think i've ever not gotten a mini set yeah you shouldn't either so that's it let me know which cards you're most excited about let me know which cards you are least excited about i think everybody would agree that this card here is probably going to be the least favorite of the set after any card is drawn make it temporary it just gross gross throw that down you just laugh at whatever you just put down like whatever your opponent draws is yeah i'm not a fan of that i've said it I'm, i want my opponents to stay out of my deck i get it i know there's something to do with that i'm fine with them milling they want to mill cards all the day that's fine or what have you but don't mess with my deck i mean literally you could lose the game 
by just, you know, by, by just this coming out. And you can play two of these suckers in your deck. So please, guys, remember that as you guys are running through. Interested to see what happens in the next few days. I'll definitely do like a 24, 48 hour afterwards um like a kind of like a meta report see what things are good what's not so good or what have you and yeah i'm done rambling and i will see you in the next video